Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be here some more ATS. And man, am I excited to get back into it. Oh, this, uh, so it's going to be kind of weird. This first couple episodes, I'm still getting used to, uh, my steering wheel. I did get a steering wheel finally. So I am driving with that. And I don't have the gas pedal and stuff. Like, strapped down totally so it's kind of wobbly and it's making it kind of hard to drive so that's kind of why I'm driving sporadically come on buddy let's go so right now we're just headed to pick up our load it's going to be going from Walmart to somewhere up in uh, Tacoma Washington right now we're in Eugene Oregon so I'm just trying to get there and uh, yeah th this wheel is really weird compared to my mouse and keyboard I've been using for a long time. But it feels so good to finally get back in ATS and actually have a wheel and stuff because while I may be getting used to it, it's definitely going to be a lot better for experience of driving. So here we are, we're approaching our destination. And once we actually get there, guys, I will show you uh, kind of our truck and uh, I'll let you know what the load is and everything like that. Alrighty, so here's our job. We're going to be going from Walmart uh, here at the paper mill, the Georgia Pacific paper mill. It's, we're going from Eugene, Oregon to Tacoma, Washington, and it's 32,000 pounds of paper going to Mercado Libre, or Mercado Libre. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead back here and get loaded. It looks like it's on the other side of the, uh, the complex here, so we'll just go ahead and head back there. Uh, we want to put our four ways on and you know, the speed limit's only 15 and the yard here all right so here we are so we're gonna have to do kind of a a loop here and yeah, there's mcdonald's here so we're gonna have to go kind of up four that should do it there so i'm not the best at backing up yet with this thing it's kind of weird i slightly tug the dock or hit the dock There we go. Alright. And we'll use the following key to turn the engine off. And let's load up. Give him a nice little honk there. Letting him know thank you. Yeah, so before we get too far out of here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you the truck. Let's go ahead and stop here. And we can hop out and uh, show you. So here we are. We're a Walmart truck. We're a 53 footer. All right, let's hop back in the truck here, get situated back up, and let's head on off. Go ahead and turn our four ways off there. All right, so yeah, guys, I've been really excited to get back into ATS ever since I built my new computer and everything, and also since I got this wheel about uh, a few weeks ago, about a month ago maybe. And it looks like we got some Amazon ahead of us. I got all of the real logos and stuff in here. So there's Cords, Amazon. Looks like a triple Amazon. Dang. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, uh, I can't wait to get the new DLCs. Mainly, I want to get Texas when it comes out, and I want to get Montana and Wyoming. I haven't had those yet, so those are the only two I'm missing besides the new Texas one coming out. And I'm just really excited for that, you know? I can't wait. I, I like Texas. I think it's going to be cool doing a bunch of oil field stuff. And, uh... Yeah, just everything like that. I also really want to get the uh, All-American map or whatever it's called, where it has like the full United States, because I really want to go explore like PA, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Ohio, and stuff like that, because that's kind of in the area that I live. And I think it'd just be really cool to explore that in a video game. Oh, we got the green. Keep left, then turn left. So yeah, just I want to do some updates real quick uh, for everybody. So uh, uh, on the channel currently we have Minecraft Survival Vanilla, which I'm really having a lot of fun doing that here as of recent. We also have the modded series with all the mods with uh, It's Levo or Levi or whatever. And uh, I'm really having a lot of fun with that also. Just Minecraft in general, I've been having a ton of fun. And it's something that I really don't take for granted because I get bored a lot with Minecraft and I go through big spurts. Where I don't want to play so if that does come up and there's no more Minecraft for a few weeks or whatever until I get back in the mood I mean so be it but I'm gonna continue those series for as long as possible 
mainly until like a new version comes out so like if a new version of minecraft comes out like vanilla or of that mod pack i will switch to those or switch up to different stuff also we have the ocrp been having a lot of fun doing that um ocrp in general gta roleplay and all that i just have been having a ton of fun and it's just something i hop on every night and play regardless if i do record it that's like with minecraft i only try to play it when i record it because for one i get bored with that game so quickly or i just get burnt out because i've been playing it for over 10 years salem oregon discovered so yeah, just some life updates guys uh recently i uh kind of been switching a few jobs and stuff that's why i've been making videos again because i haven't had time but there for a while i was actually working out of town and so I couldn't have my computer or anything like that. I didn't really have good internet access. So I didn't play games for a good like three months while I was out of town. And finally I said screw that and I didn't keep that job. Oh, Portland discovered. But yes, I didn't keep that job so I did leave it and move back home. And right now I'm just working a job temporarily until I start my new job. Which is going to be security at a... Uh, a place around where I live and it pays decent and the hours are gonna be decent and everything like that so I'm gonna be able to actually put some time into the YouTube channels and uh, yeah eventually here in like in the next month and a half two months I'll be getting my own um, apartment again so I won't be living at home where there's gonna be a ton of people and stuff like that so that'll be sweet oh, that's a cool bridge off to the right there and uh, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty sweet having my own place again, and I'll be able to record whenever I want or whatever. But I won't be able to get that until like the beginning of January, so that kind of sucks. But uh, after that, you know, it'll be good for at least a year, and uh, it'll be all nice. Up until that point, though, the videos should be pretty consistent. So I'm gonna be pre-recording enough videos for like a week to a week and a half in advance just so I have them and that way if anything happens within that week week and a half I'll have videos up until then and then I can record just a bunch of videos for the next week week and a half so I'll always have videos to put out from here on out like right now at this current time I have enough videos for about two weeks worth of content so that's why sometimes if I'm doing stuff with Levo or it's Levo uh, he might get his perspective out before me that's just because he's not doing as many videos and he's editing and uploading them within like a couple of days of each other while I'm trying to sporadically put my stuff out or I'm trying to put it out consistently but I'm putting out so many different types of videos on my channel that I kind of have to spread the the videos out oh we just passed a I believe that was a Oregon State Police right there yeah I'm oh, serious I'm only going five over and so with all that being said I'm I want to do some upgrades to the setup but I really won't be able to do this until I get into my new apartment so the things I want to do is I want to get a racing rig of some sort mainly something to just put my wheel and pedals on because the way I'm having it now is I kind of have to set my pedals against the wall whoops and my steering wheel is still kind of funky and so they kind of slide away from my foot, which is kind of why I'm having a hard time hitting the brake and stuff and the gas sometimes. But yeah, I want to get that. They're not too bad, but one thing I really want to do is I just want to upgrade my wheel. I want to get one that's actually better. I don't want the, I have the Thrustmaster T80 uh, Ferrari edition. So yeah, it's not the best, but it's a good beginner wheel. Yeah, so I won't be able to get that until I get into my new place and actually have some money saved back and all that. Plus, there's some stuff I want to do to my PC. I want to get some custom cables and stuff so it looks nice and uniform. It's an all-white build. I'll try and include a picture on screen. It's kind of still not 100% put together and it has the plastic still on it. That's just because I want to protect it until I get to, the f it's to its final resting place, which is my apartment. And you might be wondering, what the hell am I using for a desk? It's basically one of those tables you buy at like Walmart for like outside barbecue cookouts or whatever like that and it's pretty old I bought it a long time ago all that will be happening here soon it'll be a better upgrade and everything I don't plan on doing a ton of ATS so I can kind of deal with it until I get that done 
So yeah. Also another big upgrade I want to do this setup is my mic. Now I do have the AT2020 but I just kind of want to get to a more professional level and I kind of want to get like this Shure SM7B which is like a $400 mic and that way my audio will sound a lot crisper and cleaner and I won't have to do a ton of editing to the audio. So I believe that sign said Aberdeen, Washington uh, like next exit so we should be getting close to our destination. I've really had a lot of fun playing this so far tonight even though it is kind of wonky with the wheel how it is so sensitive and everything I'm not sure if that's just how the wheels are or if that's just how this wheel is because it's so like loose. I don't know. If you guys use wheels let me know if you play ATS and stuff is the wheel always so weird like it's really f like I'm barely moving it back and forth and it's like moving my steering wheel halfway around in game so and my sensitivity really is all the way down if there's a way I can change that or mess with some type of settings or something like that let me know because that would be very very greatly appreciated oh is that this oh no I thought that was a sun that's like a yeah that's the Tacoma like Superdome or whatever it's called yeah that's pretty cool I've never been to Tacoma, Washington, but it's definitely a place I want to go, Washington in general. It's just an amazing and beautiful state. So yeah, we're approaching our final destination here. That's just something I want to do here coming up in the next year or two. I just want to travel the U.S. There's a lot of places I want to go. One of those being uh, Washington slash Oregon and kind of California too. But yeah, definitely the least two of those states. And then I also want to get a like... Utah, like to Moab, Moab, the Badlands, and all of that. Those all just look like a freaking amazing place. All right, so we're going right here to the right, I believe. Yeah, the Walmart. All right, so there we are. We cleared that, and we're going to pull up into the spot they wanted us to deliver it to here. I hate those pop-ups. Don't go away. And hold on one second. We got to actually back up a little bit. Alrighty, and there we are. That is going to do it for this episode of American Truck Sim. We're just going to kind of pull up out of here, out of the way. And um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, besides, like I said, some stuff being pretty weird. wonder if we can do a 360 out of here. So yeah, guys, and just like that, we're done. If you guys did like this video of American Truck Sim, be sure to click the like button down below and subscribe for more because I plan on doing some more here soon. Um, different stuff. I have different, you know, mods and stuff in. I can do different types of hauling stuff. A lot of different companies and stuff like that. So we're just going to head out of here and turn our four ways off. There we are. And we're going to pull in here and have a little nap. So you guys don't forget to click the like button down below, subscribe for all the new content that's going to be coming out soon, and also don't forget to join Jumpy's Clubhouse down below, it's my Discord community, trying to grow it and join a, make a little community out of it, and yeah guys, I will see you in the next video and episode of American Truck Sim. Peace out.